Boss. Boss, I have some bad news. I think our karma's coming back to haunt us. Well, hold on a second, fella. Huh? We got an offer in the punch this morning. Boss, I just received the formal fax from the FBI about our shell corporations, a nonprofit organization for kids. What'd they say? They've been investigating us for the past two years. And they want to see all the paperwork and the money trail, and especially for the Dream Big for Kid organization. Oh, this is very serious. How much time do we have to prepare? Ten seconds. The head of the FBI is about to call right now. Dream Big for Kids, Mr. Kringle speaking. How can I help you? Hello. This is Chief Agent Thomas. Seems that we have a bit of a problem. We've been tracking you and your cronies for two years now, and there's some tough questions you need to answer. Or you might be looking at some, a lot of fed time. You guys are real cooperative with the inspection. We have nothing to hide here. Well, if you have nothing to hide, then you should have no problems. Just so you are aware, I'm sending over my best team of professionals to inspect. When can we inspect, expect the inspection team to arrive? Today. They're actually on the way to your office now. Thank you, sir. Okay, buddy, listen up. <clears throat> We'll be investigated by the FBI. We're in a cold red, I repeat, a cold red. We have to destroy all the designated files, delete all the computer trails, and any emails you might have. FBI? The FBI. Oh, what the they're all doing standing around looking at each other? Get to work. They'll be here any second now. And move like your freedom depends on it because it does. Addressed to Chief Agent Thomas. Is this a joke? You're just kids. Does it look like we're playing? Now please, step aside. When I ask you again, sir, now would you please step aside? What the heck is going on? Why are these kids here? We don't have time for this. The FBI's been busting through the door any time now. Sir, this is the FBI. But these are kids. We don't have time for these things. Neither do we, Mr. Pinko. Sir, we are the FBI, and we need to speak to you in your office. and the other half on this side. You'll be interviewed by each member of our team. Now, if you lie, you can go to prison. Mr. Kriegel, my name is Agent Jones, and this is Attorney Ashley and Agent Bree Whitfield. Attorney, what am I being sued? Mr. Kriegel, that all depends on this inspection. Damn, <laughs> please. Being sued, or whatever. Please, someone that is right. You'll be in prison for a very, very, very long time. Daryl, hack into their motherboard on their computer system. Miss, Mrs. Lewis, open all financial reports and bank deposits dating from the past year. Trevor, run to trace some of those phones 
We're going to show some of those phones dating back from the past two years. Got it. All right, people, let's get to work. Wait just a minute. Let me get Chief Agent Thomas on the phone and see if this is the Yes, sir. This is Mr. Kringle. I have some kids in my office. They claim they work for you. Is this for real? Not only is for real, they're the best team I have. People like you underestimate them because they're young. Big mistake. They've taken down some of the biggest criminals in the game. I suggest that you take this inspection very seriously. So, let's get down to business, Mr. Kringle. I just started six months ago. Remember, you don't know what other information we have, so if you lie to us, it will result in major problems for you. So let's try this again. How long have you worked for the company? About three years. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Where's all the money for your dream baby for kids organization? What do you mean? We mean your organization took in $25 million over the past three years and you haven't done much for kids. I already showed it two years ago. You did a free concert for kids with the Jonas Brothers and this past February, the organization sponsored an entertainment workshop. We both know that these things don't add up to $25 million. So tell us where the rest of the money is. Hey guys, look what I found. What you got, Zero? You see right here are the two shell corporations that we already know about, but it's two more and they have offshore accounts in the Cayman Islands. Did you discover any email traffic from that area? Yes, they have been communicating with a gentleman named Francis Williams. Francis has access to, to the two bank accounts over here. So he must be the guy who used my the money. There must be some financial records on this guy. Tamiko put her, put her files. I'm on it. Who's in charge of the books here? I hate to have to repeat myself. I said, who's in charge of keeping the books? I keep the books here. Mr. Kringle, we have had you under surveillance for a very long time. We know you meet with this man several times a year. Who is he? It's just an old friend of mine that comes to Check out on his properties a couple times a year, and we get together for lunch sometimes. It's no big deal. What's his name? Christopher Alexander. Look, can I get you kids some cookies or something? No. Not at all. All you can offer us is your honest information. Mr. Kringle, it will only be a matter of minutes before I take his boundaries. So it best you come clean now. What do you kids want from me? Well, you can tell us why you scam so many kids. You received twenty five million dollars and did nothing to help kids. Mr. Kringle, it's crooked people like you that make it hard for people to help kids. I wanna see all the financial records for the past two years. Especially the deposits made by Francis Williams. But the girl, I don't know what you're talking about. Does it look like I'm kidding around? No, but it does look like you're a little kid around a bunch of adults with no respect. You need to watch how you're talking to me. I got a daughter older than you. Boys. Here you go. Yeah. I hate to have to stand up to your level, but we're the F-B-I. And if you don't do as I say, you won't see your daughter until she has grandkids other than me. Okay, calm down. And oh yeah, I'm really good with numbers. So if it don't add up, it's your bad luck. Whose idea was it to steal money from a kid's organization and ship the money overseas? Uh, I just worked for Mr. Kringle. I don't have anything to do with this. 
We hear an excuse all the time and won't stop you from going to jail for a long time. You might as well come clean to us now. We already know everything. We just want to see how long you will sit here and lie to us. Sir, you have to save yourself. If you cooperate with us, it will cut some slack on your prison ticket. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Kringle asked me to set up some overseas account. It wasn't my idea. I had nothing to do with this. Look, I need this job. Sir, we asked for all cell phones. I gave you my cell phone. What's this? Nothing. Sir, we, do we seem to have a problem? No, not at all. Okay, then. Just do what she's telling you. No one can hurt. Do you understand? I do. Trevor, how are those traces going with those phones? I have too much sick. Stop talking to me like that little girl. I am a grown woman. This little girl is the only thing that's keeping you away from prison. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do. I understand. One of the workers was hiding his phone in his leg. Run a trace on this one and see what you find. You need to tell us the truth or you're going to jail. Look, I'm telling you the truth. Why don't you believe me? We don't believe you. Come on, what's going on? I don't get it. This is play. This number not come on my gentle. Contact headquarters and see what they say. FBI. Hey, Crypto, it's Trevor. I need to trust you up on What's the number? The number. Eighty-one. Just give me a few minutes and I'll call you right back. I can't go to jail. I've never even had a ticket. Well, you're going to learn today how to behave. Trevor, we were able to get some information on that number. Okay, click the multiply on the number. This one has been making repeated calls to to the Cayman Islands. We have some wires had a conversation with the man named Francis Williams. Hey guys, what did I found? What you got, Daryl? Francis Williams' parents are LaVilla and Scott Williams. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Mr. Kringle's parents are LaVilla and Timothy Kringle. Oh my gosh, they're half brothers. Bingo! Guys, you both have been thinking with the friends. We know we have to have a conversation. That sounds about right. For my calculation, it seems like you're all going to jail. For what? For stealing money? I, I just keep the books here. Tell it to the judge. I think we have enough to bust these people. We told you it didn't have long. Mr. Kringle, I'm afraid we have some very bad news for you. What's that? We're taking a donation and sending money to this guy. Wait, you mean Christopher Alexander? No, this guy is named Francis Williams. He's Mr. Kringle's half brother. You lied to us! Boys, could you please escort Mr. Kringle out of his office? Sir, could you please follow us? This is all a big mistake. Sir, please don't make this hard on yourself. Great job. That's why you're my number one inspection team. 
Now I'll bring it on in. And on three. One, two, three. It's a